Hey there. I hold in my hands a letter that I'm going to read to you. It was written on this day in the year 1903 by a man named B.F. Morgan, who appears to be a Confederate soldier and veteran of the American Civil War. The letter is addressed to two Confederate generals, Cabell and Gordon. The first is certainly William Lewis Cabell, nicknamed Old Tidge, who lived from the years 1827 to 1911 and was a former mayor of Dallas, Texas, and also volunteered his services during the Spanish-American War at the age of 71. The identity of the second general is perhaps John Brown Gordon, who lived from the years 1832 to 1904 and was a former Georgia senator who was believed to be involved with the Ku Klux Klan, although he denied any involvement with the organization. The letter is as follows. Corsicana, Texas, May 19, 1903. Dear Generals Cabell and Gordon, will you please have my poem read at some meeting of the reunion in New Orleans this week? Then please hand it to some leading daily paper of that city. If they publish it, please have them send a copy of their paper to me at Athens, Texas. I'm an old man, and I'm very much interested in the advancement of peace on this earth. It will be not very long before the most of us will have to pass through the valley of the shadow of death. Let us make preparations for a great meeting in the kingdom of heaven where pain and sorrow and death in any form will not enter. Respectfully yours, B.F. Morgan, Athens, Texas. God bless you all. May the peace of God be with you. This actual letter was the property of W.L. Cabell prior to his death and later entered the collector's market. So I'm going to hold it up for you so you can get a close-up view of it. 